All right, here's what I'm thinking. We still have our juicy Ogre Magi, our Prelix, and then we'll probably want one more. I kind of like the idea of a Luna here, because I think Eclipse is one of our stronger thingaroos. Piercing damage is really good. But to lead things off, I think we'll definitely get a Bristleback and maybe an Axe. No, I don't own an Axe. Let me look at some of these red heroes. Primal Roar. Stun a unit. Oh, I see. It just runs away. Alright. Oh, one sec. One sec. Purge is, Purge is responding to me. Yeah, I was asking Purge what the right boots to buy are. Oh, Sven. What's Sven's God Strength? Modify? Sven is like one of my favorite heroes in the Doters, huh? What's Ursa do? This is red heroes only. This guy is good just alone. So this is a 710. This is a 511. Maybe that's actually just okay. Get the Legion Commander in there. Because here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I think if we go to blue, we have this cunning plan. Beep, beep, beep. We have this compel. Boop, bop, boop. And those are kind of nice cards to get. And then we can just sort of keep our summon the barracks, overwhelm with numbers kind of thing. Like, uh... We're probably going to be a little lower on the curve, right? Dimensional portal. One, two, three. One, two. Two seems like a good number. I think four, three foresights might be too many, but it might actually be fine. Let me just try the two. And then I, I think this is most of what we had. And the other one, we also had the Thunderstorm, which was pretty cool. I'm going to keep some of these sweepery thoughts in here. But then if we go to red... Let's see here. What can we do in red? Mm -mm -mm. Bronze Legionnaire just does strike me as pretty tight. I actually might try to just put these in here. Give a hero plus three armor, okay... Pick a fight. Rising anger. Modify a red hero. Actually, what are what are our what's the improvement symbol? Yeah, where, where's the red improvements here? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, I think I think those are not what we want. We are. I wish it wouldn't filter my deck. By the way, can I just say this? This is this is one of the weirdest things ever. If I'm looking for cards to put in a deck, why would I not want to see my entire deck? Why? Like this is so silly. Like, let me because what I want to do is I want to look at just the red cards to add to my deck, but then I got to add in all the blue there. That's weird. Okay. Condemn an improvement, draw a card. Uh, that could be something. What, let's see, what are some of these? Give allied heroes, plus four cleave this round. We are not going to have that many. Hmm. Rebel instigator. Dealt damage, summon a rebel instigator. Interesting. Modify random allied hero with plus two attack. I don't want to be super crazy hero focus. I'm trying to like clear the path. I'm trying to clear the path for my ground units to swarm in.
Enough magic. Proceed to the combat phase. Oh, that's a really interesting card. Two piercing damage to the enemy tower for an allied creep dies with Red Mist Pillager. I think we can actually do this really well. Narrowfell Brawler is just the huge dudes. Still, still want some things in the stun a thing that's in front of it. I actually think I do like this. Bronze Legionnaire. Doosh, doosh, doosh. All right, we need four more cards. We're, we're way more aggressive. We're sort of just like, we're trying to fight a lot with our heroes. I don't really have much in the five other than the barracks and the red mist pillagers, but that's pretty good. Probably want one of these fours. Modify Stone Hall Elite with plus two attack and plus two health after a unit blocking it dies. Yeah, let's try this. That seems cool. Alright, I only have one. Okay, let's do Sucker Punch. No, this is blocking an allied red hero. We don't have that many red heroes. Maybe like one or two of these. I'm gonna try two. This neighbor thing now. Let's just get a huge dude in there, huh? No time of triumph. Yeah, why not? We're gonna put one of those in there, huh? Oops. Wow, did I... Wow, did I forget the items. Okay. What's this, like, Klajmir? Klajmir... Oh, there it is. Klajmir... Oh my god, it's ten? That's it? It's only ten? Wow. Okay, holy shit, okay. Or the Alpha? Yeah, let's get this one in here. Oh, the Dominator, maybe? Investor of the Tyrant? Get a few expensive things. We don't quite have the most gold, so we, we gotta be a little careful. Stone, or there's one of these things, there's the Musket. Keenfolk Musket. Two of these. Probably need another cheap defensive thing. What's something like right in the middle? Plus one arm, plus two retaliate? Let's just give this a shot. Like, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna save as what's the name of this deck, huh? Flex hard control. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go to the casual play, and let's just do it straight in casual constructed with the uh, flex hard control. So, yeah, let's find the next match. Okay, so the, the question mark in my mind. Okay, wait, well, cancel. All right, whatever. The question mark in my mind is. I feel like I'm trying to have some aggressive-ish things, some control-ish things. Uh, this is basically a go-wide strategy bolstered by a couple of strong heroes. That's really all we're doing. Alright. Alright, so we just ignite in this lane, huh? Are there cards like Trumpet, Blast, and Magic? Oh yeah, like I think Time of Triumph is the big one that everyone's just like, Oh my god, T.O.T. Ah. My thought is that I can get lane control with the red guys. What is it that's making these so strong? Oh, Drow Ranger. Duh. Durf ner dur. Alright. 
Oh Sorry. my god, we we lost. No. Skipping it. Did I actually put the keen folk muskets in here? I think maybe those are bad. All right. So I'm I'm like super duper duper going to go into the mid lane. I want to try to back up my bristle friend. I feel like I'm going to go foresight in lane 1 in order to get some sort of swappy doppy do. Boy, that's an incredible, incredible flop. Okay. Axe seems OP. Yeah, I just don't own Axe. There it is. There it is. We can also dimensional portal here. That's pretty good. I can choose this as an attack target and really blow that out. That's great. This is a lot of damage. I'm just going to Dimensional Portal. Put a little bit of pain on some of these things. I can also compel this in. But I think getting... I think that getting the Bristleback growing... I mean, the whole point of this deck was to just get the compels on. And does... One thing I want to see is, does this... Oops. Oh, duel's only an allied red hero. I mean, that, that makes sense for balance, but I think it means that I actually need to ditch the um, Luna and get a third red hero in here. And, and Sven makes sense. I was just talking about how I can't do this, man. It's fucking sad. There's also a sufficiently large amount of cards that are just like... Um... Sufficiently large amount of cards that are like, do a thing to just a red hero. Hello. A lot of the sweepers are in the, uh... Oof. I can use this. Yeah, it's fine. Hope you die. A lot of the sweepers are, it seem like, blue signature hero abilities. I really need Annihilation, man. This is one of the things that I actually think is so extremely painful. There's no way for me to get it or work towards it. You know, like, I could open 10 Hearthstone packs and then dust things and then make the thing that I want. So there's at least a path to go through to get there. Our enemies will regret coming here. All right. So we're getting owned super hard. That'll be solved when the market opens. Solved is a very strong word. Do I have an at any cost? Alright, one and two chance, huh? Clearing that board is very good. Calling the reserves. Red Mist Pillager. Oh, cool. Boy, do you feel it when you don't have the cards in the color that you wish to have. Kabank. Sucks a lot. I appreciate it. Fully heal a unit. Oof. Ow. My bones. Alright, I'm just gonna foresight so that we can just draw some stuff that'll hopefully be useful for us. Bronze Legionnaire. Red mist over here. Alright, I have a sensation that we're about to die in this lane. 
Dude, this... I think our opening is super predicated on how well our Bristleback does. You <laughs> betray the red mist axe. Okay, that's good. So now we're just gonna swarm this third lane. thinks it's great that you believe you could survive this! All right, so now we can do something. What's this do? Yeah, maybe just magicking mall and then the keen folk musket and the healer dealer. All right, how do I make the best of this? I think I just have a really simple deployment. Just like go over here, start zapping the axe. I think we're just going to completely destroy that last lane with Red Mist Pillagers. I think we can actually win that twice. <laughs> Alright. We just clog over here. Summon three Bronze Legionnaires over there? Is that right? Well, I think first things first, let's let's healing salve. Yay! You're so healthy again. Isn't that great news? I think one of these two makes sense. I think I'm gonna equip the Keen Folk Musket, so then I can use this to shoot over here. Bang! Great sound effects. Now, do I want a dimensional portal here, or do I wish to I think I'm just gonna call in the reserves over here. Try to just slow the bleed down. Oh, and I get another one. Woo. Looking like a power hot hipster today. <laughs> Thanks, Handy Arrow. I'm liking those V-Max things. What to do? All right, well, it looks like you're not going to suffer the swarm of bronze legionnaires. You know what? I think I might try to just go all in on a lane. My life is irrelevant. My life is irrelevant. All right, well. Dealing eight's not going to change much. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Yeah, dude, I get it. You're gonna win this lane. Like, I just, there's no other way to put it. Like, you got me. You got me. I tap out. I think these th thunderstorms are pretty useless in this deck. So I think it's actually okay if I use this. Hold on to the eclipses. Why not? To magic it up. So this is good. These Red Mist Pillagers are going to summon more Red Mist Pillagers. <laughs> plus two armor, and everyone else gets plus two armor. You know, I just never buy these items, so I'm going to give it a shot. Now, I actually think I'm just going to go all in on lane one and three and just give up lane two. I think that what we're going to see is one and one, which I think is a mistake. That's really great news. All right, 12. And there's 15 total damage here. Well, I actually just think I'm the luckiest boy in the world, so... I'm flooding this lane because I think that we're just possibly going to double win in lane three. I'm ready to stand with the vanguard. Give me two armor, huh? Well, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna eclipse. And I think that's okay. Prelux is defended. Prelux is good. I'm gonna shield the Basilisk, the Prelux. I'm gonna shield the Basilisk, this guy. Stop me now. I think the fact that we have red mist pillagers that are going out of control is like pretty great. <laughs> I think I'm gonna remove the sweepers from the deck when I first get the chance to. Yeah, look, it's like not even dead yet. So here's I'm just gonna eclipse and kill. And what are you going to do about this, dude? Red mist pillagers are funny, man. Holy cow. Friends, this is Legion Commander is OP, I'd say. Everything feels o OP until I actually use it. The only thing that I felt be consistently powerful. Oh my god, that's so great. The only thing I felt be consistently um, powerful is Prelux. Because I feel like there's actually a thought process there. With like Bristleback, it's like I put the Bristleback in front of you and you die. Or I don't and I messed up. Holy shit. Minus 43. Alright, so all of my items are way, way too expensive. Trop expensive. Alright, so we if we just apply pressure to just the first lane, our opponent will have to keep answering all of our pressure in just the first lane. Yeah, I mean, like, that's, that's, that ain't gonna do nothing. So now we're just gonna start swarming in. I think our opponent just went too hard in this, for, in this second lane. Alright, Legion Commander is also not very useful in this deck because Duel is only on other heroes, but I mean, really what I want is an axe. Alright, so I mean, this might look pseudo-ridiculous, but we are going to win right now. Who can stand against us? Ta-da. Okay, so, so we're, we're gonna keep playing this, because this is a gauntlet. But... Close reopen, close reopen, close reopen, close reopen. There's a, a couple of things that we felt in that that felt really bad. Um, the fact that duels only on red heroes felt really bad. Other things, the thunderstorm felt bad. Like let's let's take a look at the deck. Let's load it. Uh, these thunderstorms felt very useless. The friendly fire, I did not see as much a need for. Call and reserves is always good. Foresight dimensional portal are always good. Red mist pillager obviously overperformed in that match. Um, yeah, I think there's there, there's a couple of things that I already want to change about this deck, but we did a gauntlet, so it's fine. Let's cancel it. Let's not. Let's go straight into the game because I fucked up again. I'm I want my coffee. I want my water, man. I met the dude whose head is that valve intro. Balls. I'm absolutely just gonna go straight in and pop this. I met the dude? Yeah, he's just like... It's just like a Blazcon. Sucker punch. Ugh. Zion says, any interest in the Keeper draft since you like the MTG drafting? I mean, not as much. Like, not, I mean, I'm, I'm going to do drafts, but I don't know if I'm ever going to keep her. 
it, it just feels so... Like, I just don't really know how this drafting mode works. Like, if you get Bristle back to just eat a hero turn one, it's so good. That's okay. I also think that I have too much expensive stuff in our deck. Where is the safest place for Prelix to live? Get out of here. Sucker Punch sucks. God, I actually think it's the second lane. I think Sarlacan's gonna be dropping in this. Sarlacan's gonna be here. It would be suicide to place it here. Really, in that lane? Okay, well this increases the chance that we won't be across the way from that guy. Okay, maybe we do wish to ignite this lane. I think an ignition feels very good in this lane. And then a dimensional portal defensively. We're going to kill this lady. We see that it's the oath. You cannot play spells or creeps while this in the active lane if there is an... What? 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 what, what? You cannot play spells or creeps while this is the active lane. If there is an allied black hero in this lane, allies have plus four attack. Wow. Okay. So this seems like a super aggressive kind of deck. All right, all's good. So we can we can sucker punch this. We can also dimensional portal to prevent a huge amount of damage. What are we getting next? Ogre Magoo? Fifteen seconds remaining. I think Sucker Punch is act or, or is actually worse than uh, playing the Dimensional Portal. Come forth. Prevents a ton of damage, and we know our opponent's not going to be able to do anything. We get some money out of the exchange. Boy, this is a boring one. I don't know when else I'm going to use this viscous nasal goo. Couldn't tell you one. Let's give this a shot. Yeah. I think I should maybe be saving some more money. Yeah, I guess I just dumped this into here. There's a strong chance that everything just gets cleared. And we don't even have anything in the middle. Our opponent really is committed to that, huh? You can't hide from me. God, that's so good. I think we're gonna save that for this little place here. All right, well, I guess we do not anything here. Maybe I barbed mail and, and duel? Yeah, barbed mail and duel will let me win in this in this lane, right? I'll cut down our enemies. My ignite. We're gonna split some heads open with this. I'll take on anyone. <laughs> oh my god, double demagicking mall. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright. 
Her 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 her. Ha her 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 her. Does cunning plan help us at all? Can I have this? Is this considered a neighbor? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Crash Boy, welcome. You're one of the first people I've looked over and said hey to during this entire time streaming. Because our opponent was taking one turn too many. No valid targets. More like one chunk of time too many. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, we're about to get Bristle back big! And Euro's asking why I wear earbuds because they are light on my head. That's it. They're light. Light on my ears, light on my head. Prefer them over headphones. Big things. Is this how this works, right? The battle? And there's the retaliate damage. Wait, wait, oh, he doesn't get the armor. Oh, fuck, I hate the way this thing works. Ah. Fuck, that is annoying. So it's not that if he kills someone, it's just if someone who is in the blocking position dies, however the heck that happens. All right, you go here. I think we I think we put a red red person in the mid. God, that is the most annoying thing ever. I think we're gonna get Sorlacon here and PA in the middle. Okay, that's that's fine as well. See, I could have cunning planned. Oh no, I couldn't have cunning planned because there's uh, I don't mean blue dudes in that lane. All right, so we have a clear. May as well just start doing the damage. The Wrath of Salamene. The Wrath of better than the bleeding thing where your head uses it too. Uh, I'm sorry, this got away from me. All right, so. I think just sweeping this board is good. Making this a priority lane. This is this is way worse than I thought that it would be. It's actually Ah oh, fuck. Can't believe you've done this. Why don't I have an axe? Blow a dude up. So if we at any cost, PA lives. And if we eclipse, everyone dies. That seems like a good deal. Cool. Now maybe the fact that I've been saving some cash will actually help. And then another creep's gonna spawn in this lane. Oh, mwah, it's so good. Oh, Clajarim Hourglass. Assassin's Veil is better. Okay, my item deck sucks, man. Okay, well, let's go to the mid lane. Let's see if we can. Just be. I, I just want to spawn across from this guy. I just want to be right here in the middle. Ah. Oh. All right, we're winning this game. I don't mean winning as in like we did it, we won the game, but I mean like I think we have an advantage right now. I think just focusing on blue improvements instead of blue twiddling positions is actually better. 
Uh, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to equip the Clasurine Hourglass. Good. Boy, that's dirty. The filth is so clear. Yeah, because we have six charges, and this is 12 and 6. Hmm. Let me put a Bronze Legionnaire here. I mean, Prelix has got this lane mostly fine. Ah, get me out of here. There's no one I can't kill. Oh no, Prelix. <sighs> Damn it. Wow, Sucker Punch is really not good for a deck where you're just splashing red, huh? Hello. I understand my orders. I understand my orders. I'm casting the Viscous Nasal Goo because I simply want to cast the Viscous Nasal Goo. Ooh, I think this brings out my quills, don't you? All right, I wish for you to die. That was a good play. And there ain't nothing I could do about it. Hit me. This is uh this was a clever little move from our opponent. simply not focus on that lane at all. More barbed mail, why not? I put it in there, may as well use it. Alright, so we are all in on this lane. I actually think this is the strongest lane to possibly dominate, because we... Woohoo! Oh, our opponent went all in on the back lane. Look at these legendary creeps blocking as best as they can. All right, I think I think we lost. I think we are sorely dead. I think we are sorely dead. You're about to have a real <sighs> so if we do this... It's just not even remotely close to enough, is it? I think our opponent's just gonna time a triumph and we're just gonna immediately die. This, this didn't feel good, though. This deck. I sort of feel like we deserve to lose. Like, the compel cunning plan idea is really foibling. Like, it just does not feel good at all. That is okay. So, I mean, Time of Triumph on the other side, I believe, kills us. So that's a bonus 4, 4, 4, and 4, which is 16, which is more than enough. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, we're going to let him kill us. Defeat. Alright, so I, I really don't like 
this deck. This was sort of an experiment, and we're feeling a lot that, like, our thought process was if we can assign good combat targets for powerful red heroes, and frankly, we want this to be Axe. Um, if we can assign targets for powerful red heroes, then we can get some really good kills for, like, Bristleback and really good kills for the red heroes. Like, we have those twiddle effects, like change targets in combat, that sort of thing. And then I just have the rest of the blue shell that I really like. The um, Barracks and the Ignites. I like the Barracks and I like the Ignites. And the Eclipse is okay. But frankly, these little twiddly things are just not freaking working at all. They're so bad! Uh, also, I kind of just said to myself, dude, we need to pick a red hero. So I don't know, Legion Commander. I get some duels off. This is worded really weirdly. Modify Bristleback with plus two armor after a hero blocking it dies. Which is like a really specific language that it's like I get, but it just feels weird. It's like if it gets killed and Bristleback didn't participate, but the thing is blocking it, then Bristleback gets more armor. But if Bristleback, say, kills it in a duel or kills it in some other um, angle, then it doesn't get the armor. So, eh. So, I feel like Bristleback is also one of these heroes that feels very conditional. If you get a spawn where you just kill a dude by virtue of the spawn, this just snowballs out of control. Um, but either way, I chose Legion Commander because I was like, oh, maybe the duel will pair with Bristleback, and it doesn't. It doesn't at all. So, um, I want to change that. Sven, I feel like, is going to be better just due to having a cleave and benefiting from more damaging stuff. Um, this is all under the presumption that we don't have Axe. And we might actually go three red heroes and just keep these two blues. Um, I'm going to go get some quick coffee, some quick water, and I'll be right, right, right back. We are wearing red shorts today. We're going to find the next match. We're going to... If we go two and two, this is better than expectation. Some snazzy shorts. Yeah, these are the I'm doing laundry shorts. See if there's actually any red card that like modifies who attacks who oh look at that it's literally right there <laughs> yeah wow that's actually what we should totally go for yeah actually let's so I think that kind of what I'm thinking is Cunning plan and compel. I think we just get these out. Get out here. I also think that we can get rid of the thunderstorm. Maybe we can just keep two thunderstorms just in case. I don't actually know about the friendly fire. I think that this is solving a problem that this deck doesn't have. Alright. 
Oh, this is so funny, dude. I absolutely am doing this, man. Are you kidding me? I don't know how to fucking count. Oh, no, I absolutely do. Okay. I was like, what? How did I get that math wrong? But I did it. I did it. So now this guy... What? Ready, sisters? What? What? He also can't die? Okay. Versailles has to survive? Wow, man, that's weird. Not the idea that our opponent needs to... Not the idea that Bristleback has to survive, but, like, the fact that it's, like, not actually in the wording. God, that's a really unintuitively worded thing. Huh. Alright, well. Huh. Uh, don't to blink a dagger. Flask in time. Dimensional portal. Uh, I actually am gonna deploy into this lane, which looks weird, but very clearly Legion Commander is gonna go here, and there's nothing to really do if I get paired against. Angertes says, after the hero dies, Bristol can't get the buff if he's dead. This is where I would disagree with that sentiment. Whoa! Our opponent mind game us. I would disagree with that sentiment that, like... Because it is after the hero died, and modified is something that just sticks for all time. So, I mean... Oh, come on. Given the way the, um... Notion of modify. Alright. Given the notion of how modify is presented in the rest of the game as being this permanent effect that applies to heroes. I think it's just super, super duper duper poorly worded. It's kind of interesting. That, like, there's this discussion about, like, how... Th there's a difference between how something is worded literally versus how something is worded intuitively. As in, what the ability's name is and its flavor communicates to me, and there's some text there. And what a lot of people do is they hear the name and the flavor, and they read some text, and then they go, oh, okay, I get it. And what they get is not necessarily what the card actually does. All right, this is a spell I can cast, and so I'll cast it. So, like, for instance, if you've ever been handed a pamphlet that technically if you read through all eight pages of the pamphlet, you'd know exactly the steps that you had to do to do X, Y, Z at the amusement park or at the medical clinic or something like that. But so what happens, you pick it up and you skim through it and you go, oh, okay, I get it. And then you just kind of move on with your life. I'm just going to hold on until we can get some big old expensive ass items. All right, since there's more creeps here, I'm gonna probably just go blue. We have five mana. This will guarantee that I'm actually against a dude correctly. There we go. And where do we think our opponent's gonna go? Well, probably Axe here, Sniper here. Axe to fight against the Brawlies there. Wait, really? Interesting. Red, mist, pillager. All right, let's draw. Man, this deck just functions so much worse than our other deck. Multicast. Nifty cast. So Exceed Starcraft says artifact is after 
an artifact after is a different phase. When it goes to the after combat phase, Bristle is not alive for the password to trigger. I'm not suggesting that I don't understand what's happening. I'm suggesting that the way that things are worded is kind of disappointingly counterintuitive. And I, I'm just not a fan of that. Is there a way for Bristleback to then stay alive in this position? Looks like no, so I'm just gonna like Red Mist Pillager over here. See if I can get these bad boys spinning out of control. And I think that like for a game like Artifact, this is one of those things that seems like really, 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 really important. Like you have to understand. Holy shit. Who can stand against Mo most of Artifact is pretty pretty darn unintuitive. Like, there's, there's intuitive framings if you have played Dota. But there's a lot of things like, okay, how does mana work? Okay, and here's that you can only cast spells of the hero in the color in the lane. And then there's the item store where you buy items, and those don't cost mana. Etc, 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 etc. Like, there's all, there's all these, like, little things that I feel like can be hiccups, almost. And then to have, like, more hiccups in there. It's not bad, but it's just, like, one of those things where I'm like... Alright, look at the heroes, Kate. Uh, I have to do this, don't I? Fuck. I really don't want to do anything now. I think I'm just going to put Prelux in the first lane. Lane 2 is sufficiently clogged. We're going to get a kill in the second lane. Excellent. So we can do another foresight. We can also just put the hero's cape on this guy. I kind of like that. Guarantee we win lane one. My prey doesn't have a chance. Yeah, that's a good. That's this a good idea. Hello. Thunderstorm. There's nothing going on over here. What to do? Yeah, these compels feel so bad. Oh, that was just a single red mist pillager, huh? This other one's going down. Dang, that was a nice play. Uh, do I want to do a friendly fire? I guess we just foresight, huh? This is actually going to be helpful ever. May as well just make Prolux a little beefier. Alright. Give me a quick timeout, Gore the Bond. I've been being a little spammy, but also if you want to give some feedback about some thoughts, I would encourage you to propose an explanation as to why you would have done it, as opposed to just, you should do this. You need to do that. You should do this. That sort of thing. Thunderstorm's actually kind of a useless card in this deck. I should probably just cut it. I think we're losing that one. Should be untimed out, by the way, Gore the Bond. It was just a brief timeout. As 
So we are currently operating in this lane. Yeah. So if I duel, I'll get another six damage into the tower. Is that actually good? This is a 517. We are never killing that. Why do I not have Annihilation? Ah! God, not having, like, an essential card like that with no clear way of getting it for a few weeks to the release, that is a big old pain. Okay, so I think we just don't do anything in this lane. I think it's this and this. Very much so. I think this is correct. And if our opponent... Yep, our opponent appears to be focusing heavily on this lane, which is grand for us. I think a friendly fire will do very well here. Now, when this is battling a hero... I believe it will deal more than 6 damage. Yeah, it does. So this should mostly secure a win. Because here we can just, like, go super wide... And then we have a time of triumph here. Oh my god, and now Bristle gets the bonus. Because, even though it didn't participate in that at all. Damn. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure we won this, because we, we win in this back lane. Oh, I hit the OK button. I, I mean, I'm actually just going to duel in the dimensional portal. streamers have the annihilation problem i don't know like i spent 150 dollars on packs mm -hmm. no one messes with the king oh is this guy coming into this lane are you gonna get 15 damage eclipse going I guess actually I want priority so badly I'm willing to do nothing. That's the play, right? I want the blink dagger. I want the fountain flask. Dude, I miss getting just barracks and creeps everywhere. I miss that. I miss my mono blue deck. I liked it. I think with Annihilation, that deck's actually quite a bit stronger. Look at, look at these things. I just time of triumph here. That's pretty good, huh? I mean, I think it's fine. Who wants to challenge me? Uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's just the thing that we're going to do. And then we're going to blink over here to get another kill, huh? Could be a coup de gras, but that's okay. Let's see. IGS11 says, Hey, Day9, sorry if you have been asked already, but do you think Artifact will take over as your main card game stream, or can we still expect to see a lot of MTG? Well, currently, uh, you can absolutely expect to see a lot of MTG. In fact, I mean, I'm, I'm even playing on Friday, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I really like Magic, because I've just played it for so many years, and There's it's no so good. I There's no weapon I haven't mastered. 
So I mean, condemn enemy improvements, condemn each item equipped by the unit blocking equipped hero. Okay. Yeah, like I know that I like magic. I know for a fact that is true. That feels like it's the wrong one, but that's okay. Yeah, I just know I like that game. I know that I do. This game, this is like the second day that I have spent more than an hour here, two hours there playing the game. So, I mean, I'm is certainly enjoying myself. I certainly will be playing. Additionally. Oh, that's so good, because then we have an ignite. And we're obviously losing in this line. Boop. So, with nothing to do here... You never had a chance. Do, 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 do. I don't care, I'm just gonna do this. We'll be exploring the new Hearthstone expansion when it releases. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's already some interesting cards that are being announced that I'm kinda like, oh. I don't need another full heal. Focus on this chat. Not on this chat, excuse me, on this lane. I mean, I'm 99% certain that absolutely everything is going to be shifting over to the left. I think I arguably shouldn't have put a blink dagger on our good friend Babristle. But this ignite's going to be very good. Okay, so this is six charges. We just need one to hit here. Maybe we just thunderstorm and duel. Can't believe thunderstorm's actually useful here. Seems good. My specialty. Uh, where where do I want this ignite? Nowhere. This 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 deck sucks. Make no mistake about it. We we built this deck. We're we're almost a little disappointed that we're still winning. I built this, and I mean, Legion Commander is the wrong hero to have. Bristleback feels okay. Um, oh my god, it's a mono blue player. Hell yeah. Oh my god, Bristleback is actually going to get a turn one win. Alright, well. Do we duel here? I think we just don't. What about Red Red? Red Red seems like it would be actually excellent because there's just so many, like... Buff your hero. Oh, I see. Okay. Like, if I dueled this right now... Then I would get the damage bonus. This is my gift. Great. Bristleback has buffed himself. He's now an 8 8 with two armor. Woo! What do you think about Black Black? I actually don't know the black cards very well at all. Black and green. Black is the one I'm most familiar with.
Don't want a shitty keen folk musket, dude. You betcha. Dealing two damage against blue is. It is so fucking relevant. Okay, so where where do we actually want to just prelix our our little selves out of control? So I mean, I actually think that. Uh, Probably this third lane. Like, our red friends are doing pretty good here. There's an argument to be made for overrunning the first lane. I'm gonna believe in that argument. We're sort of expecting a Crystal Maiden on the other side, so. Do I want to duel now? I actually think I would like to duel. This seems quite good. Turn six is when blue actually gets scary sweepers. Unless there's an at any cost, but that's okay. Bristleback's gonna win a lane. My people will defend the ancient till our dying breath. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just destroy most of what our opponent has. Having now seen that in action, actually that's better than I thought. Take two damage, sweep across. I'll defend this place. I'm just gonna shoot this. So I can't use this stunning unit this round. Oh, so now I can't summon creeps. You know, I should have summoned the creeps first in case that was coming. Ah, uh, Cleasuring Hourglasses. Just so good. What to do? I think I actually just don't worry about this lane that much. I think it's these two lanes that I want to focus on. These are the ones that are most a threat to the opponent, so I want to make sure that I have both colors in this lane. So Red Mist Pillager is probably going to be slamming in one of these spots. Certainly we're going to duel. I mean, it's just not even close. Sleepy Kid 12 says, have you tried Prelix plus an ability to buff the creep? Seems good, but I uh, haven't seen it. Uh, that would be a blue-green deck, and I just have not experimented with it that much. Mm. Limits are for the lesser. Fully restore your tower's mana. I mean, I guess. That seems fine. Hmm. And for my next trick. That's that's all fine. This is all fine. That's totally fine. That's all good. Probably gonna win here next turn. I mean, we just have a Red Mist Pillager here, so this is. Red Mist Pillager feels really fun. I really like that card. Woo! Do you have Kana? I have Kana. Kana is sort of anti this strategy. <laughs> oh, Lorna. Oh, Lorna. You pro. Alright. Love running just like one or two conflagrations. Get me the fuck out of here, man. Oh, so fascinating to me. Coming here was the last we 
mistake you will make. Coming here was a huge error. Yeah. I think we might like this is this is the turn where we can get burned. Buy this and get something expensive. Another fucking Kingfolk musket. Oh my god. Why do I this item deck is terrible! Whatever, I'm not gonna buy anything. <laughs> oh my lord. Or my glord. Alright, I can't do anything, but I think that our opponent will feel compelled to defend. Okay, so this just says to me there's an at any cost that we're about to run into. Like, we're not gonna get to do anything. Sacred Magician actually looks pretty darn good. Clips get four charges, so it'll have five in this lane. I have something special in store for you. I think that that Satyr Magician might be something I should put in my other blue deck. Ow. tried Kana Prelux, but the problem is that Kana forces you to focus on one lane. Okay, this is pretty cool what's happening here. Um, Call in the reserves over here. Just slow this game down. And then we're just gonna eclipse. Kind of just focuses way too hard on one lane. And it, it, by virtue of taking from other lanes. No one can stand the red I, I kind of like the way Prelix functions you know, a little more. <clears throat> God, these compels are completely useless in our deck. Oh my god, they suck. You are about to witness something. Six. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Eclipse. There was never any doubt how this Bang, bang, bang. This is me killing something, by the way. My item deck is actually so terrible, man. This deck sucks. This item deck is the worst. Every time I'm presented with my items, I just feel agony. The more I play with this deck, the more agony I experience, but I signed up for the gauntlet, the 5-2. This can kind of synergize strongly with Sorla Khan, go all in on a lane, flooding it with minions and siege ladders. Yeah, I think that's really cool. So here's the interesting question. How does our opponent focus? I think our opponent is going to focus hard on the third lane now. Which I think is quite an error. It does depend. It depends a lot. I held your devastation. Depends if this is just like destroy everything. Oh my god, strafing run. Okay. At any cost. Second ignite. Wow. Do we just do we just lose? No, it's not enough damage. I think our opponent loses in mid. So I think we actually just have too many red mist pillagers. I think there needed to be like a conflagration cast or something. This Saturn guy is pretty tight. Do we just win in lane one? Uh, do we just win in lane one? Yeah. 
We win in a lot of ways. Matt, but here's the cool part, is we're just keep summoning Red Mist Brothers! Alright. Pass it. Pass turn. Pass. What's really interesting is that if our opponent casts a spell to take initiative, that'd be super fascinating. I guess I'll get this. Alright. We actually win in both lane and two. Lane one and two. Broadswords, it seems like Red Mist Pillager is a missed opportunity for Phantom Lancer themed card. Could be. Could be. I love this guy. Look, he's celebrating. Ready to fight. <laughs> Just like want to town port a little way. That's such a terrible idea. I wish to win. Bum, da, da, da. This sucks. I'm tired of winning with this deck. Oh my god. This is so horrible. <laughs> Keep winning with this absolutely atrocious deck. Oh god, we're th uh, this deck feels so bad. Every item in my item deck is terrible. Every, like, half my blue cards are unplayable. Equipment costs zero mana, correct? That's right. It doesn't cost mana. See here. Utori Kyoyas says, Sean, when are you going to have a show match with Purge? Crypt faced him earlier this week. I will do a show match with Purge once I rip three Annihilations. <laughs> That's it. It's the only thing preventing me from playing against Purge. Yep, no. <laughs> uh, last time I talked to Purge, uh, he was running low on water uh, and was still about 20 days out from finishing his patch note review. Done any keeper decks? No. I mean, like, d doing keepery stuff is frankly really weird in this game because there's just not that many cards. There's just, like, not that many cards. So the same thing that with Hearthstone. When Hearthstone came out, you put in like 150 bucks, and he just like had the cards. <laughs> CK Omega one seven two nine. So you were talking about machine learning last week. And I was wondering if you could tell me more about the variable outputs labels problem. Yeah, the gist is that. Um, when you're doing learning, I'll speak very generally so that we're not just talking about super specific stuff that only you and I will get and not all of chat, but when you're doing um, machine learning thingies, very commonly with a lot of models, you need a fixed number of inputs and a fixed number of outputs. 
like, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, for instance, if we were controlling Mario, the, our outputs might be what direction up and down is the joystick being held, and is A being pressed, right? Th those are your outputs, is Y direction, X direction, what's going on with the A button. And those are fixed, right? The, no matter what you feed in, all the variables in are the representation of the world, the monsters, the cliffs, the pits, all that stuff. The output is just those three buttons. And this is true for a lot of things. But if, for instance, um, you know, if Mario had a... Let me just look at this flop real fast. Duel. Wow, Sucker Punch has been completely fucking worthless. Oh, this is what I'm talking about right there, man. That's, yeah, that's it. But if we're, uh, you know, actually a really great example is this duel, right? This duel, if I was doing machine learning and I was like, cast this duel, the duel can target this or this or this. It has three targets there. If I'm here and I want to target duel, it has one, two targets. How do I represent a variable number of targets, like a dynamic changing number of targets? If I need a constant size outputs, and there's a lot of interesting ways to do that. Can I put this over here, man? That sucks. I think, I just, seconds I think I just pass and cry, and I think I wanna die. If I bronze legionnaire and just deal the four damage to Ursa, is it verse it? I think it is, because I can duel it next turn. Honor to fight alongside my brothers. It is an honor to fight alongside my brothers. <clears throat> Hell bear crippler. What a stupid cripply hell bear. Oh, he is what I'm talking about. Boom. This is where he's like, ignite into this lane. Like really interesting about it, but oh, c'est fantastique! Oh my God, look! Look at how big Bristle Back is about to become swollen back, <laughs> which is how I was feeling yesterday after I messed up on my kettlebell swings. Oh my God. I real I actually figured out how to do the little KB guys, man. Ignite. Mm but I kind of like our Prelix with Bristleback plan, man. None of these. All my items suck. I'm not buying them. I'm not buying them. Day nine is the king of initiative. Day nine. He's amazing and magical. It's day nine. <laughs> Alright, can we actually do anything? Dude, I think... We might actually just successfully own... Uh, Alright. Bing bong, no! We might just go all in on lane two, like actually proper all in. Kettlebell swings, oh my god. Let me tell you, like, uh, after I did them properly, like, I could, I could hardly walk home from the gym. I could hardly walk home, like my butt, it just... I had destroyed my butt. FF. Broline. Like, if we can get a... heck is the name of that thing? For the glory of Stonehall. So can I, can I do this and, like, target this? Thunderstorm. We can actually be in pretty good shape if we can maybe get, like, some sort of, at any cost, or Annihilation commencing. Vesture of the Tyrant. We almost got that. Are we kidding me? You know what? God. I'm not going to get the Shiva's Guard. I'm not going to do it. Can't make me. This is five mana?
I guess I'm gonna do this, and I guess I'm gonna at any cost it like a high percentage of the time. What a what a what just a little badass this is. See, you know what I was talking about? Like just the uselessness. Of so many of these blue cards like this. Oh my god, a Clashery Hourglass, man. Fuck. Oh my god, we're so doomed, man. Ah. Alright, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna do them. Where are my manas? Where are my manas? Oh. Okay. It's fine, dude. That damn viscous hourglass. I appreciate that. Healing. This is ours for the taking. At any cost. I thought through it and I won. Alright. I mean I think that there's a few plays this deck has that are actually just so stupidly powerful. Oh, I'm gonna buy this and the next thing's gonna be the 19 cost. Ah! All right, whatever. I'm getting retaliate, man. Ah, uh, we're at six mana. Um, I think I'm actually just gonna pile up right in here. Is that what we're actually gonna do? No, I'm just gonna go win, win in this late lane, huh? Uh, if our opponent plays something in lane one, I'm gonna Lameo. Okay. Well done. Where are my manas? Damn it, I still can't sucker punch anything. Ah, oh, this card is just oh, so bad. I'm just gonna Thundro Storm. This useless card. I need to be willing to just throw out the Thunderstorm like a hell of a lot more. It's just not that incredible of a card. It happens to hit on the inflection point. How do you earn gold? Anytime you kill anything, you did it. You the best man. You did it. Friendly fire, just having these two clock right into each other's faces. Oh crack. Yeah, get low. Get low, get low, get low, get low. Get low, get low. I'll get armor. Ah, oh, shit. I'll do what I can. I'm gonna shoot you, dude. Pretty cool, huh? Crunch. Ah. All right, we're, we're making some dough. We're making some cash. I literally can never sucker punch anything. Die. I'll do my part, Commander. The jungle will protect me. Dude, whatever. What frickin' ever. So still, still think I'm gonna win in that mid lane. Oh, please. Get a random item from the secret shop? Yeah, we're getting that one probably. Oh! There's our Clejureem Hourglass. Oh, Clejureem. Don't let the days go by. Pleasure aim. <laughs> All right. I 
think I want the Cleasuring Hourglass on that dude. Dude. Uh, yeah, I'll just pleasure him, my dude. I'll give him some sick armor. Alright, that's so great. They're both locked. Seek. Armor this dude up. Hmm. Could we talk about last week? Pointer networks. Pointer networks. Pointer networks. Pointer networks. Pointer networks. I think I think I actually need to focus on this lane. I believe. Don't know. Do do this on that. Oh, does it come in off cooldown? I don't understand how this works. Whatever. Oh, it has to be unblocked. That's right. You can only do it if unblocked. Got it. Do I just duel these two or do I save the duel for this lane? I think, I think we're going to win pretty soon here if we do this. Crunk. And then I can actually TP out of here. And just replay my friend, which I think is actually good. Because now, Bristleback is the biggest problem for our opponent. And if there's no Bristleback on the field, oh, where's a Bristleback gonna be? Ah. We're just gonna keep saving our cash, man. I think I just kinda want Prelix holding down the fort in this back lane. Isn't that right? I want this and this and this, right? That's that seems like the play. Our opponent doesn't know where our bristleback's gonna go. And thusly has made a quite big mistake. -y. So now we got the pressure going on in this lane, huh? Dude, this Clejurine Hourglass is disgusting. So good. Well, let me just get the red mist pillager in then. Oh, that seems good. I'm just the beginning. Oh, let's just use this point. All right, we're getting, we're getting some goods going on, man. Whoops. I think I actually just save. The eclipse for here. Because if I just tap this twice, then we're in grand old shape, huh? So this is four, five, six, seven, eight. Not quite enough. What do the arrows mean when cards are deployed each lane at the beginning of the round? It just shows who's attacking who. So, like, here. Everything was attacking everything across from it, but if there's anyone across from an open tile, you can like swing in there and actually get a kill. This might actually just kill.
Was that guaranteed? Yeah, I mean, it had to have been. Her der, der. All right, we're we're looking like very good. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think our fountain pull on the bristleback was good. I think it was good. <laughs> yeah, so here's the pathing cards. So this just shows who will crash into who where. Nice. I was not going to do this. I was not going to Time of Triumph, but given that I lost all my Red Mist Pillagers, I think it's okay. I think I'm just ready to begin to slam in there. Time of Triumph. Burn. Burn. Doesn't matter to me. Still have not found a good opportunity for Sucker Punch. Yep, draw all your locked out cards. Yeah! Look at all this damage, man. Alright, so we probably kill that next turn. Probably. It's pretty good. I'm probably going to barb to mail. Blade of the Vigil. The jungle protects its own. This place is my dominion. This place is my dominion. Oh, no, Nova. Nova. For the glory of Stonehall. I think I know what we're doing. Depending on what gets played, we can just at any cost. I'm going to slow this game down. I don't think I've like drawn a barracks this game. Gotcha. Nice. If you ever kill the first tower, does it excess damage? It doesn't. Alright. Get on out of there. Down portal scroll. Best card in the game. Ever. My item deck is so terrible. I cannot even believe in Steven. I think we can actually still keep putting pressure on the third lane. I expect nothing will come here and they'll be doubling up here. Luna's almost certainly going to go into the mid lane because our Luna only has one health. Okay, I don't know anything that's happening in the world. I mean, there's no reason to block stuff. Compel. Barax. Here. That's what I need! That's what I need! I need that card really bad! Look at how look at how it solves problems. Ah oh.
Holy shit. Okay. I mean that's one way to that's one way to do it. Our opponent is holding on so hard. Is there a reason to own multiple copies of cards in this game? No. Super duper ultra nope. Alright, I don't know if this causes you to kill you, but we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Ah, nice. Cool. Cool, I keep forgetting that I have a musket. Cool. <laughs> Alright, Red Mist Mall. Proceed, replace the weapon. Go that hole. We, we, we are kicking some ass, man. Kind of. This deck sucks, though. I can't... I'm so frustrated that we're actually winning with this deck. Ugh. Oh, God. If I see one more demagicking maul, I'm just gonna burst into tears, man. This is terrible. Alright. We could still very lose this game. That would be very, very quite despairing. All right, oh my god, am I going to get to Sucker Punch? Am I actually going to get to Sucker Punch? Am I going to get to Sucker Punch? Am I going to get to Sucker Punch? All right, Red Miss Pillager. Duel. Yeah. Don't Alpha Strike me, man. Shit. All right. At least we get priority in this lane. Oh! oh my god, all my favorite spells. Oh my god, Sucker Punch is so bad. <laughs> this is... Oh, this is the worst. Starting to feel some danger here, man. Modify a hero with Get Swole. Draw card. Love to give a shout out to Bolt of Damocles. My claws will, run crimson. My claws will bite. My jaws that snap. Want an ignite or a barracks? Nothing's fucking good here. The faithful will come right. in droves, and they will need a place to stay. Where, what? What are even my goals here? I'm not quite sure. No, I mean I just I believe you. For God's sake, I believe that you're going to be able to deal damage to me. We could have, like, called in the reserves there, but we can always still do that. Oh, a stupid demagicking mall. Oh my god, the Horn of the Elf. Okay. Can't tell who I'm rooting for here. That guy or me. Alright, so we take our siege dudes, we put them into two different lanes, and then once we're done with that... Yeah, no, I think we just go one and one and one. So now we can threaten so many towers this way. Uh... Fuck. 
Alright, I'm gonna call in the reserves here. Okay. This is like a really mighty guy. Going to this lane? Oh my gosh, is there going to be a time of triumph there? Oh. Where do I ignite? My favorite part is when we light everything on fire. So I think I have to duel the Luna. We're hoping our opponent actually has got to play here. Nice. Super nice. All right. Keep initiative. So if that gets multicast, it's like so funny. Keep initiative. It's fine. initiative all right don't you get it? <sighs> with you. I don't get it dude all right so now there's no possibility of some crazy sweeper that's blue coming in hurting me you think I travel alone Let me over on the left instead of the right seemed weird. Well, I wanted to put this ogre over here because over here we're threatening lethal with just units. And here, if he doesn't play to... And we're pretty safe here. And this just puts up a persistent threat. Fifteen seconds remaining. I understand my order. So now we're just trying to minimize damage here. But Ogre would just kill the tower with Siege? No, he would be... In, well, be careful with saying he definitely can do XYZ. But, like, here, yes, it would have put this tower within Siege range. But we already had several creeps in the ability to win without Siege. Whereas here, we were behind on creeps. So if I put the Ogre here, it's hard for us to, get ca or to go wide with creeps and get around. But we can always start punching in for guaranteed damage. And now our opponent is highly likely dead next turn. So, that's my reasoning for putting an Ogre on the left I'm instead of on the right. Beginning. You're just going to bounce and it's fine. So, Lord Faraday, I don't know if you can necessarily say that, that Ogre will kill the tower. That's always, I mean, that's the threat that we're setting up, certainly. We're just clogging this. We're just clogging this as best we can. I am protected. Perfect. How'd you get damage through that tower on mid lane? Bristleback and um, Ogre have Siege. Oh fuck, we're actually gonna win another stupid game with this stupid deck. Draw a card. Should be happy. But we got it. We won the game. So our opponent had to spend all these resources defending really simple creep threats. And now here we just start off, Eclipse, and win. This was a nice game. I will do anything to protect the ancients. Too easy. Can someone explain the Siege Mechanic in more depth? The Siege Mechanic, I actually think, has potential to be cool, but is, in my opinion, the worst mechanic in the game. It is... You deal damage to the tower only if you're getting blocked. So, for instance, let me just hit go because we won. Shouldn't shouldn't have stopped to do that explanation right during the win, man. That would have been just a nasty little slow roll. But yeah, so like, 
do we have three wins with this thing? Oh, fuck, we have four wins. I'm, like, so bothered, but I just, like... I've been, like, desperately trying to, like, get through this gauntlet so we can, like, adjust this deck. Um... But, let's say you have a, a creature that has four base damage, and it says five siege. What it means is that if no one's blocking you, you deal your base four damage to the tower. But if someone is blocking you, then you deal five siege damage to the tower. War Yoshi says, I think I played my stuff way too early. Wait, was that you, War Yoshi? Were we playing against you? Were we against you, War Yoshi? Oh, that's so cool for playing against you. Yeah, that was me. Oh, that's so sick, War Yoshi. I can't believe this deck's actually winning. I have so many shitty cards in here. Oh, man. Okay, when you okay, I'm I'm curious. What, what did you mean when you said War Yoshi played your stuff too early? Because I'm still trying to get a grasp ab around how the game functions. Like, there's a few inflection points, you know. Poisonberg says, "GG, I was the blue red player." Tongue stick out. Virgil 14 says, do siege cards typically have higher siege values than base attack? No, you generally have something like I deal 9 damage, and I have siege 5. Or Yoshi, I envy that you... Oh, used your removal too early in particular, like the Annihilation. When you play the Annihilation, I like burst into screams. I was like, ah, I need an Annihilation, ah... You know, let me just uh, stop for a moment. I'm going to use the restroom, get some coffee and some nuts. I'm back. I want to answer this question. King of All Legends says, Is there a way I can convince you to make a black black deck? Dude, you don't even need to try. Let's just do it. Galahad94 says, Chat, if he doesn't enjoy playing this deck, why doesn't he just abandon the run? It's because I'm just... I'm so victory starved, you know. I'm not used to winning so much. Oh my god. Dude, afternoon nuts, so good. 
Galahad types victory staved. <laughs> I am known to stave off victory with some subpar play. Virgil says, are there any alternate victory conditions in this game? Um, you know, I, I, I have a answer to your question, then I also have a question. The first is, I think that if you run out of cards, you lose. I think that's it. But there's like no actual techniques to mill. But my, my follow-up question is, so games will have literal win conditions. Like, whoever gets the 10 victory points first wins. Or whoever builds the the monocle of justice, right? And there's steps to do that. So you can get the victory points so you can build the monocle. Like, those are your literal win conditions. But then there's, like, what I feel like are strategic win conditions. Like, in my mono blue deck, my strategic win condition is slowly overwhelm with basic creeps. Or you hear magic players talk about this a lot, where they'll have, like, some very good hero unit in their deck. Like a Teferi win condition or a Gristlebrand win condition. And, I mean, th th those win conditions are, st are still... Like, your ev eventual goal is still to bring their health total to zero. That's the actual literal win condition you're going for. Just a strategy that you are primarily focusing on in order to achieve that. So I'm trying to think, is there, like, a word that can distinguish those two? You know what I'm saying? In other words, what's uh, the difference between a mechanical win condition and like a strategic win condition? I think our opponent's playing the deck that I wish I was playing. Isn't that sad? Oh, fucking Lona. Fuck, Axe is so strong. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I forgot that it, it doesn't affect it. I'm an idiot. I was like, whoa, I'm gonna get the armor now, whoa! Well, I mean, Prolix is going to the mid lane for sure. So is Ogre. Well, in the mid lane, mid versus mid. Win state versus win condition. Win state facilitates win condition. I feel like that's stepping in the right direction. The word threat. Maybe. I feel like that's only used in very specific circumstances, though. No! I don't believe it. It's the first instance of successfully using Sucker Punch. Boom! Get the fuck out of here. Doesn't matter, but we did it. I think, well, I actually am looking for threat and, and finisher. No, maybe. I'm just getting started. Nova, Nova. Like, if Bristleback can't actually get armor. Oh, this is just shit on earth. Well, at least Bristleback doesn't get armor. But I feel like if BB can't get the armor. We're in very good shape.
plus health, minus bounty, doing it. Overlord 9 says test. It failed. I hate to say it. It was tragedy. That's all it was. It was a tragedy. This had better put me in the correct lane. I feel that our hero will be dying soon. Please put someone in the third lane. Anyone in the third lane. Preferably this dude. Check and a checkmate. Well, what I mean is that, like, every strategy in any game has some basic goal that is like, here is what the gist of what I'm doing to try to win. If we get that signet ring, does that do anything? No. Ignite seems pretty ignice. A cunning plan this out of the way. Doesn't do anything there, does it? Hmm. Sad. Yes. Fifteen seconds remaining. Let's show them what we can do. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Why not call that strategy? Well, I feel like the strategy is the whole package, but like the whole package is leading up to a win condition. All right, we got another Aghanim's Ding Dong, so that's fine. Do I actually want these two to bounce? I can twiddle them. I think I should do a twiddle remaining. this turn, though. That's a nice pickup. Damn. Yeah, so there's like... Let, let's take a, a typical control deck, which is draw cards, kill things, draw cards, kill things, and eventually play a very powerful creature. That's the description of the strategy. Ready for war. Like the strategy is all of those pieces together. But it's, I want to say something like the draw and sweep. Those spells are buying time for the ultimate way that you win the game, which is this creature gristle brand. Blah. Sounds like we're going for a strategy and tactics. No, totally not. I'm talking about the word that describes the gist of how you win. The word that describes the gist of how you win. Which is separate from the win condition. Like in Magic, the win condition is bring the health to zero. But if you said to anyone, oh, what's what's your deck going for? You don't say, well, okay, so my basic win condition is to bring their health to zero. Like you don't talk about it like that. So Skeletal Dwarf says finisher. I don't think finisher is the right word because aggro... The strategy is, I am going to play lots of creatures and lots of burn so that I can kill you as fast as possible. Your win condition is winning quickly. So that's not a finisher, right? Or in a combo deck, your win condition is, if I pull off this combo, it will let me bring their health to zero, right? This is different from Magic has the primary win condition of bring health to zero. The secondary win condition of exhaust the opponent from cards. So I'm trying to... So in, in card games, you know, we talk about there's control decks and there's aggro decks and there's um, combo decks. These are deck archetypes. But I'm wondering if there's a term for all games in any game, because I play a ton of different games, and you'll talk about like, oh, okay, right, right now, the way that we're trying to win the way you're trying to focus our strategy is around thing X. This is the way that you win the game. So a lot of people use these terms interchangeably. That's the thing that I'm that I'm fascinated by is, is people just say, alright, our win condition is X. Alright, barracks. Where do we wish to have a barracks? 
Well, Bristleback's gonna move out of that lane. Because he did. Probably in the first lane. We will not stop until our victory is secured. So there's already the language reserved that the primary win condition is like bring health to zero and magic. The secondary win condition is like mill the opponent to death. They're both win conditions, just contextual. Yeah, I know that they're both used as win condition, it is the context. I'm trying to think if there's a way to make it not so. Not so damn contextual. This is my interest. This is this is today's little project. I want you to die. I want you to know that I want you to die. These are strange times. That's not good. It's not the worst either. No one can stand against the red mist. No one can stand against the red mist. A keen folk's actually going to be useful. I want health. I cannot believe that keen folk musket's actually going to be useful, man. Damn. Right in the middle lane. Smack dab in the middle lane. It's like our bristles under duress, huh? So we have this Eclipse. It only has three charges. Barely lifted a finger. I'm definitely going to goo that guy. Nice. Do I goo this guy? I'm going to just... Make this guy take a little more pain here. Still feeling like we're mostly stable. So you like killing red mist too, Axe. It is a good day to die. I'm I'm not feeling positive about this lane, man. I am not feeling positive about this lane. There's a lot of juice our opponent has flowing in here. Calling the reserves is good on the right board. We might have to focus on these two and just try to delay this as much as possible. Kind of want to eclipse because I, I don't think we're going to have that many excellent eclipse targets. Seems wasteful, doesn't it? Remaining. Sure does. All right. That seems better. It looks like we're a lane two and three boy. Wait, really? Fuck, man. I wish I had that card. Let's pick a fight, shall we? I wish I had that card. Yeah. I'm putting Prelux in the mid lane. Again. Hmm. No. Oh, fuck. Should have Traveler's Cloaked first, man. God. This is annoying. <clears throat> Alright, we I think we die now that that happened. Book of the Dead? Do we want a Book of the Dead? Book of the Dead? Maybe Book of the Dead? That's gonna get fucking huge real fast. Alright. Do nothing. Because I'm embarrassed I don't have good. 
Good stuff. All right, we're going all the way in this lane instead. Much to our chagrin. What does the hold button do? It means you pay a dollar and it stays there. <laughs> Well, if Prolix is up against Bristleback, then that's just that's just one of the saddest things that's ever happened. That. That was very close. Look at this. Look at this glorious creep. Alright. God, I, I, I've been saying this for the last, like, hours. This deck is just not that good. I just... Oof. Clasherim Hourglass, man. Fuck! I think that that's like the card. I think we, we should just like stack our blue deck full of Clasherim Hourglasses. I really need Axe too. I want to rebuild this deck a little bit. Thunder God's Wrath. What is that card? Whoa, that's got to be rare. Oh no, it comes with Centaur Hunter? What the hell is Centaur Hunter? Let's bring the tra oh, it's rare. Okay, I thought... I, for, when I saw the card, um, the double thing, I was like, wait, is there a hero called Centaur Hunter? The storm is gathering. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is just going to turn out, like, so bad. I got a dimensional portal. The faithful will not be denied. The faithful will not be denied. Feel like a denied person. I think Bristleback has to go here to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the centaurs. I've done this with great pride. Would require more Vespian Prelix. God, this deck is just so bad. Oh god, I'm gonna buy this and there's gonna be my 25 cost Horn of the Elf. Oh my god, this item deck, this whole deck is just so terrible. I can't even believe it. This has to go here. I think that's going to be our pair, huh? I think this is where we actually need the stuff. So I'm going to put this here to charge the Eclipse. This here, and then this here. Alright. If you need anything, I ain't going to lane one. Captain Stanhope says, if you use general terminology to Brawl Strike simply, wouldn't you say the tactic is a turn-to-turn -turn win strategy is an overall game plan to win victory condition is a hard written success state? Um, I will quote my dear professor at USC that the important aspect of a definition is that it is useful. Like, I could just arbitrarily define, like, the, the stratagem as being the word that means the thing, but, like... Trying to find something that actually captures it, that, like, if you just used that language, someone would go, like, oh, okay. Like, tactics and strategy are sort of reserved for... Tactics feel sort of smaller in scale, and strategy feels sort of bigger in scale, you know, that sort of thing. Bigness and smallness is not quite capturing. That's sort of just what I'm going for. All right, so we're going to eclipse this, right? Just what I was looking for. Yeah, dude, I mean... Yeah, no, it's... Just blow it up. I don't care. Sweet, sweet. Argum Scientum seems super busted. I don't necessarily know that it is. It seems alright. I think that I, I, the more I talk about it, the more I'm convinced that just saying there's the literal win condition, and then there's like your strategic win condition. And I think that that's the important delineation. This opponent really does not want us to win this game. Or win this lane, excuse me. 
Blink Dagger is interesting, just the sort of shift focus over here, shift focus over there. The Corporate DX is my standing is... Do I just, like... Fuck it. You never should have raised my ire. You never should have raised my ire. Oh, Salamander. Alright, we are, we are, like, as dead as dead gets, man. Get me out of this game! Get me out! <laughs> oh yeah, explode. Kaboom. 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 Oh, thank god we're not in the game anymore. Oh. Whew, that was close. We almost had to like be in that game longer. Yuckity duckity do.